Welcome to the planting room in my view from the woods. Today we're going to plant some scallions from Futuition Seeds and also some Swiss chard and we're going to do that in a three foot long planter and grow them indoors. Stay tuned. So as you can see, I've already put my seed starting mix. You can look in the upper right hand corner to see a video of how I make my own uh, homegrown, homegrown, homemade starting mix. And I put it into a three foot long, eight inch wide planter box. This is where I'm gonna grow my scallions, green onions, and just a little bit of Swiss chard uh, inside of my living room. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I've already put the seeds into a little bowl here. If you can see them, they're pretty small. I'm going to put a couple trenches across this planter box and then plant them about an inch apart, about a quarter of an inch or so deep. To make sure they're in straight lines, I'm going to just use the edge of a ruler. I'm just going to push this down into the ground. So let me get started on this. The seeds are pretty small, hard to get going and off my big fat fingers, but we'll do our best. See, I didn't know how far 100 seeds would go, so now I'm starting to plant them a little bit thicker. So I only want to go two feet, two rows down this box, and then I'll thin them as they grow. That way I'll be eating some green onions along the way and letting other ones get larger. So once I finished putting them in the trenches, now I'm just going to cover them over lightly. box I'm gonna grow the Swiss chard in. I don't know how many seeds I have left so it's really gonna depend on that situation on how I plant them. Put a little line here so I know about where the green onions have ended. So when I plant my Swiss chard I'll be all set. I'm not really worried about identifying these two types of plants as they grow up. Let's see what Swiss chart I've got left here. Dump them into the cup. See what I got left. Oh, I don't have that many. See, they're a little bit bigger seeds. Looks like I got about 10 or so. So I think I'm going to do about the same thing. I'm just going to go a little bit of an angle here off of that last row. So I don't double plant on them. Let's just see how these go. Again, I'm going to put these. I can put these a good inch or so apart. There'll be plenty of room when I get done.
And now, take the whole tray right on out to my planning room, wet it down, cover it up with some cellophane, hold in a little bit of moisture, and we'll see how long it takes us before we have green onions and Swiss chard growing. Thank you for watching today's video. Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. There's a subscribe button at the end. You can just click on that button and hit the red, little red subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. I appreciate your time. Thank you.